Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Whatever. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where sometimes... What's my intro? <laughs> I have an awful... Oh, I have an awful garbage mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma, I know. It's disgusting and I should be stopped. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Babies, I am already half in the bag. <laughs> oh no. Oh, how do I do this again? It's been a long day. Welcome to Make a Bingo. New nonsense, Make a Bingo. I messed up the title. Yay! If you have never seen these videos before, you're in for a treat, friend. <laughs> this video is the brainchild of Emily Hanhan, technically. She is the one that came up with this, and I've been writing her coattails ever since. I don't know why I developed that accent, but whatever. We're here. We're going to get used to it. Emily created this really, really awesome way to play bingo with a couple of adult libations, or several, or a lot. Whatever. Who? I'm not here to judge. Don't judge me. This is a, a judgment-free zone. <laughs> and what we like to do is talk about new makeup releases, and we call them out like bingo. Is that how we do it? Technically, yeah. That's how we do it. <laughs> I'm going to just start drinking now. Mm. If you're interested in ever playing this game, everything will be listed in the description box below. We have a community playlist, so please feel free to drop your videos in there and all that good stuff. And of course, please go see my beautiful friend Emily Hanhan and her video and show her some love. She's an adorable little clam that I want to eat. I don't know why clam, that was the first thing that came to mind, but I was like, she's a clam. So for today's bingo episode, Emily and I pulled together about 30 or so images, and I will flash them up on the screen now. And this will be my bingo card for today. And without further ado, welcome to motherfucking makeup bingo. Nasrovia. I'm Polish. I'm allowed to say those things. So we are going to talk about makeup. I keep getting this text message for this lady named Janet, but it's really fucking annoying now. Like every day I get fucking text messages for her. So it's like urgent. We need to discuss. And it's like, bitch, please. All right. The first thing is... JD Glow. Ooh, bitch. So JD Glow Cosmetics is coming out with liquid multi-chromes. Sign me the fuck up. First of all, JD Glow multi-chromes are fan-fucking-tastic. Honestly, I haven't met a bad multi-chrome yet, okay? The multi-chromes that I love are from JD Glow, Cleona Cosmetics, MBA Cosmetics. Notoriously morbid. However, one of my favorite shades is actually the shade Seaweed, and that is from JD Glow. It's the perfect, most villainous green you will ever lay your fucking eyes on. It's perfection, and I'm so excited that it's in a liquid form as well. <laughs> oh my god, yes, bitch! I'm so excited. Okay. You know, I'm intrigued to get this only because as much as I loved press multi-chromes, like that's my shit, I'm curious to see if the longevity is better on the liquid ones. Because sometimes I find that if I don't use enough glitter glue or have some sort of a tacky fucking base, the multi-chrome after a while lifts and it's really fucking annoying. So I'm always looking for something to like make sure that like it stays on until I want it to leave. You know what I mean? Like you can't go bitch until I tell you to. So I'm intrigued to try these. Unfortunately, all of them are sold out. Mm, and that's what I hate about indie companies. It's like I love and I hate is that like I'm very happy for them when they do sell out, but then they sell out and then it takes them seven years to fucking come up with stuff and then you get really excited and they only get fucking sold out again. So when this becomes available, if it ever comes <laughs> available, I definitely plan on purchasing a couple at least. Even the No Way shade looks so fucking good. It's a fuchsia purple green gold multi-chrome, which probably actually looks very similar to the Pat McGrath one, by the way. Pat, I, I always leave my Pat McGrath palettes on the floor. All right. <laughs> it looks kind of similar to this shade. Yes, 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 yes. I'm totally buying them whenever they become available. 
and expect some sort of review probably in seven years from now. So I'm fucking excited. And with that said, I can mark this on my motherfucking bingo card as all the multicrumbs because they're all the multicrumbs. X marks the spot, bitch. Yeah! The next thing is from House Labs. Ooh. This is the Lady Gaga, the Stupid Love Eyeshadow Palette. Eh, my makeup dick, not that excited. My makeup dick retracted my body. I don't like it. Eh. The reason why I don't like it is that it kind of is like a copy of Blue Blood in a weird way because of all the blue shades. And I have such PTSD from that palette that there's no fucking way <laughs> I will ever get a blue palette again. I'm all good on blue. Like, I'm all set. Like, I don't need any more blue. And, um, yeah, it's okay. You know what? I'll be honest. Everything that has come out from this brand has not blown me away. I have literally tried nothing from this brand because nothing... Fast and the Furious outside. What the fuck? Family. Because nothing has excited me. I haven't, my nipples are not even hard. I can't fuck with this. This doesn't even look interesting. <laughs> like what the fuck is this? I spit all over myself, by the way. How much is this? $50? <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> that ain't happening, bitch. <laughs> $50 for a companion piece. Uh, no, I'll pass. Okay. Um, on my bingo card, however, you know, because I said it reminded me of Blue Blood, I am going to call this a major copycat vibe. That's what it's kind of given me. So, sorry, Lady Gaga. I love your music, but makeup, you're not, you're not selling it to me, sweetie. I'm not into it. So, sorry. Bye. Next. Yeah! The next thing I'm going to pull is from Anastasia. Ooh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ooh. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anastasia is coming out with mini setting sprays. Not gonna lie. I am so fucking intrigued by this. When I was shopping around during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, I was tempted to get the dewy setting spray. And then something told me, you know what? Maybe that's not what you wanted. And instead, I have been loving the shit <laughs> out of this Veil one, which I highly fucking recommend. So I'm very picky when it comes to setting sprays because anytime it has some sort of scent or flavor, it usually burns the shit out of my skin. I, I really only stick with like Scandinavia, Urban Decay, and now Hourglass. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, Milani has a good one. Until it turns into salad dressing oil, then it takes my makeup off. Not so much. Uh, but everything else has been pretty good. I'm intrigued to try the dewy one. There's also different scents. One is a pineapple and one is a mango, which again, I'm so fucking intrigued, but I'm afraid that it might burn my skin. So I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence about it. I definitely think I'm going to be picking up the original one for sure. And it looks like June 7th, which is going to be, this is in the past. <laughs> So it's already available. So I definitely am gonna pick up one of them. I just don't know which one. I'm, honestly, I'm probably gonna pick up the original one because the pineapple and mango one, I don't want it to fuck up my face. And I feel like it could fuck up my face. So we don't want that. We can't have that. We don't like chemical burns here. No, thank you, ma'am. With that said, I'm gonna call this bitch. It's an ABH release. It's in the way that she uses. So the next one is from Beach Cosmetics and this is the Weekend Vibes Collection. Here's the thing. I'm so tired of food themed makeup vibe. Ah, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> of food themed makeup palettes. It was cute for like three seconds. You know, like everybody was like, oh my God, like a burger. <laughs> um, but now I'm kind of like, all right, avocado toast. Granted, it is a delicious brunch. Not gonna deny that. But I'm not gonna be like, uh, like what I have on my face, it's like avocado toast. Like maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'm getting old and maybe I'm just like, I don't understand why these kids love food free makeup. Maybe that's who I am. And maybe I should embrace it. Where's my AARP card, bitch? Maybe I have. No, I have graduated from this kind of more juvenile shit. And uh, the palettes look fine. Avocado toast looks okay. Mimosa looks cute. The Bellini, the Belgian waffle, blah, whatever. Like they're fine. But I'm just kind of like tired of these fucking food themed palettes. Like I'm just over it. I don't know. Actually, avocado toast does look nice. No, 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 no. 
we also have these shades, you know what I mean? Like we have all this stuff already. I feel like I have at least three palettes in my collection that are called avocado something or other. Like I'm, I'm cool. I guess the difference is like Beauty Bakery is cute. Like I really like Beauty Bakery, right? I like the products that they have put out. Well, I mean, they did have that brush collection that was kind of really fucking cheesy, but whatever. I'm over, <laughs> I'm over food items. I am over it. I'm just not, I'm not here for it. I don't care anymore. Actually, no, I take that back. I like Beauty Bakery stuff because Beauty Bakery stuff, at least it's kind of like done in, in a non-juvenile way, you know? I love that fucking foundation. I just hate that it literally, like I lose all coverage by hour eight on my chin. Otherwise that would be like holy grail status. But I guess the difference from their packaging, I feel like is just a little bit more sophisticated as opposed to things that have been coming out for food. Although I really love this avocado palette. It's really fucking pretty. Do I get it? Press one if I should get it. Press two if I should grow the fuck up. On my bingo card, what I can mark this as, is a food theme makeup release. Cause that's what this bitch is. Yeah! All right, so the next one is Pat McGrath. I'm just gonna cut to the fucking chase. Obviously, <laughs> my review was up as the last video. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend you check it out. So I'll link it up in the corner there. And um, yeah, fantastic palette. Again, I like to leave it on the floor. I like to show this palette who's boss. Like, yes, I paid $100 for you, but you sleep on the floor. This palette's fantastic. I love it. I'm happy that I got it in the chrome pink case. It's good. I like it. It's wonderful. And I don't think I could really mark anything. You know what? I can. I thought I couldn't, but I'm going to mark it as millennial pink packaging because, I mean, it's kind of millennial pink. So we're going to call it millennial pink packaging. Yeah, I like that. We're going to do that. Next. Yeah! is from Ooh, Miss Charlotte Tilbury with her pinio talk. I, <laughs> I love Charlotte. You know, me and Charlotte, we go way back and I really do like her stuff. And I swear by the airbrush setting powder. I think it's one of the best setting powders I have in my collection. I mean, it ain't no chance to come, but whatever, like she's good. Like we like her, she can stay. I've been interested in trying more face stuff from uh, Miss Charlotte Tilbury. And I was intrigued to try the bronzers, but I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. I've heard some people literally suck its dick. And then I heard some other people being like, it's hot water trash. So I don't really know where I fit into all of this. The reason why I didn't pick it up and I don't think I am gonna pick it up, not for a little bit anyway, is because I have so much fucking bronzer. It's disgusting. I wanna be mindful of not just buying products to buy them, to fucking let them collect us. Like I really wanna fucking not be that asshole. Like I really don't wanna be that asshole. And also like I don't get PR because who the fuck is gonna send me PR bitch? Nobody, okay? So I gotta spend my own fucking money. And that was just one of the things I wasn't going to purchase. Plus I did pick up during my Bergdorf Goodman, Goodman, Bergdorf, Good bar, good bar, good men. Bert, why does that sound weird? In my head, I was thinking about Mr. Good Bar from Hershey. And that's all I just kept thinking of, like that candy bar with a little mustache and a top hat. It's regal, you know? I purchased an Edward Bass bronzer, which I'm currently wearing right now. And, ah, oh, bitch, I fucking love it. It's so good. But honestly though, my tried and true bronzer is that stupid, stupid, shitty Tom Ford bronzer. I fucking love it. Like that's the thing I'm gonna be buried with me in the casket. I'm gonna be clutching that thing, clutching it to death and I love it. So yeah, so it's kind of hard for me to like wanna try other bronzers. Plus I got the Fenty one, which is also pretty good too, but it's hard for me to get anything else when I'm like so stuck on my favorites. But I will say though that I wanna look at a couple more reviews first and then I would consider picking it up when there's another VIB sale. I'll be very honest. Like that's probably the time I would pick it up. I wouldn't pick it up now. Plus the shade range is a little, I don't know, it's a little funky. There, oh, let me see, what is this saying? It's deep, tan, medium, fair. The fair reminds me of like Hula Light. So I'm like, eh, like I didn't really care for Hula Light. If I were to pick anything, I would consider the medium one. That looks like it would do well for me. Tan would be too dark. And then deep, obviously that's too dark, but yeah, you know, if I were to get it, it would be medium, but I'ma hold off. I'ma hold off for a minute though. And I'll get it during the sale because I, I just, I don't know. I don't need to rush out and get it. Like Tom Ford's so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so wonderful. <sighs> I hate how much I love that bronzer. 
With that said, I don't think I can mark it on my bingo card as anything. Not really. No, I can't. I actually kind of like that it looks like a clamshell. It reminds me of like Ariel's bra from Little Mermaid, like those clamshell titties. I like it. Next. So the next thing is. Bitch. All right, YSL. All right, I don't have a lot of YSL makeup. What I do have though is one of my favorite foundation of all time is the All Hours, right? All Hours, All Nighter, All Nighter Hours, Hour Nighter, whatever. This thing, love it. It's fucking great, I love it. The concealer is okay, eh, it's fine. Nothing to really write home about. But the fucking foundation though, I think I've gone through two of them already. Like I, I fucking, I love that one. That is like my ride or die. I am intrigued to try other things from this brand. And when I saw these little couture color clutches, I was like, oh my God, I fucking, that's a panty dropper right there. Okay, that is fucking cute, bitch. That is so cute. It was really gross of me to say that. <laughs> But it's so pretty though. <laughs> Oh, my makeup take is hard for days. And I want it, I want it so badly. And the color story is basic as fuck. It's a neutral with pops of blue. Like it's just fucking, it's, it's not even anything amazing to look at. Honestly, to me, it would have been a really, really awesome color story if I could have like take maybe the yellow and the purple and then put it in that first palette. Then that would be like fucking chef kiss amazing. It's a basic ass bitch, it's a basic palette. But I fucking love it though, I don't know. There's just something about it that just looks so good. I feel like. Like it, it has to be good. It has to be good. If it's not good, it's a fucking travesty. It's a travesty if this is not good. Needless to say, I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> I want it. I have no idea when it's coming out. It's been kind of teased for a little bit now. Other than the uh, face product that I have tried, the complexion products, I don't know anything about eyeshadows. So this is new territory. So hopefully it's good. I need it. Even if it's not good, I'll knock those fucking shadows out and just use it as a goddamn clutch. Be like, this is my YSL. Like, yes, I'm going to Chili's <laughs> with my YSL bag. Oh God. Even if I did have like a lot of designer purses, I would still be going to the Cheesecake Factory. That's upscale. Who are we kidding? I'd be at Outback Steakhouse, okay? Like, <laughs> I'll have a fillet. <laughs> the fuck am I even saying? Anyway, I'm excited. Expect some sort of review whenever this fucking thing comes. Depending on price though, I don't think I'll pick up both of them. I think I'll just pick up the first one, the more kind of blue greeny pinky one. The only thing interesting about the second palette is that yellow. Mm, but I mean, how many fucking yellows do I need? Did I really say that out loud? Of course you need them all, bitch. I don't know. Maybe I'll get both. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll get really drunk and <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I don't think I could really, no, no, I can mark this on my bingo card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch. This is a neutral with a motherfucking pop of blue. And that's what we're gonna call her because that's what she is. Next. Yeah! So Urban Decay is coming out with the ultraviolet palette. Not gonna lie. Okay, not gonna lie. But if it's anything like the Honey palette, oh bitch, this is gonna be good. But I don't know. See, I haven't really heard a lot of news about it. And now that I'm kind of like looking on Instagram, I see some of the swatches and they're not that impressive. So I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, y'all. Uh, there's nothing really amazing about those. Fuck. Oh God, that's bad. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. It's a shame because I was really pulling for Urban Decay, especially when it came out with, when they came out with the Honey Palette, that palette was fucking revolutionary for Urban Decay. I don't understand what the fuck they're doing, all right? I feel like the world is giving them softballs. Like, here, come on, guy, come on, fucking get it, get it over the fucking plate. And like, they keep like swinging and missing. Look at me using sports analogies. <laughs> and they keep missing and it's fucking terrible and I hate it. And I really love, like growing up, like Urban Decay was like, oh my God, you're wearing Urban Decay? Like you're fucking cool. Like it was a cool brand. And now it's like shitty. Like it's fucking garbage bullshit. And when the Honey Palette came out, like that was an awesome palette. For Urban Decay, that was like the best they have put out in so many years. So I'm hopeful for Ultraviolet, but I have a feeling just based off the swap as I just saw on Instagram, it's not going to be that great. I think it's going to be okay at best, which is really upsetting because that's a brand that I, I don't know what fucking direction they're going in, but they need to fig fucking figure it out. But if I get drunk, I'll buy it and I'll review it. But <laughs> as of right now, just based off the swatches, I'm not really sold on it. 
It looks kind of weak. And that's a problem, bitch. Okay, so we're gonna pass on that one. I don't think I could list it for my bingo card, so. Bye, next. All right, so the next one is from Maybelline. This is a gloss called The Lifter, and it's made with hyaluronic acid. This formula visibly smooths lip surface and enhances lip contour with a high shine. Ugh. It looks very pretty. I'm interested in getting it. The packaging is very, very sleek. Drugstore packaging as of late has been kind of fucking killing it. Honestly, though, if I didn't know that it was Maybelline, I would just assume that it was a high-end brand because the packaging is like fucking 10 out of 10. Honestly, it really looks a little bit like KKW, which I'm not mad at because I really do love KKW packaging because as basic as it is, it's fucking everything. So I'm into this. I'm sad because I keep forgetting that, you know, COVID exists. Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to pop down to the drugstore and like go find it. But then I remember, you know, social distancing, lines outside of stores. <laughs> we just entered phase one <laughs> in New York City, so we got a ways to go. <laughs> for the state to open, so one day I'll get to try it and I'll get to see it in the store. Maybe I can find it on Ulta. Oh no, it's coming soon, Never mind. Let me look at my bingo card. <laughs> I'm like already fucking dismissing it. Um, we're gonna call this bitch yet another lip gloss because that's what it is. Next. Yeah! So the next one I pulled up is from NYX. This is the Ulta for Pride 2020 collection. Pride Edition Bright's Ultimate Shadow Palette. Here's my beef. As someone who is an ally for the LGBTQ, LGBT, LGBTQAI+, when you're drinking, it's a fucking mouthful to say, right? <laughs> I'm an ally, totally through and through. What bothers me is that they're taking this time to kind of repackage the same shit and put it out with like, oh, we're just gonna put it in a pride box. Like, we're just gonna make the packaging just say pride, people are gonna buy it. Now, I don't see anywhere in this post that any of the proceeds are gonna be going to charity. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, honestly. And this is a palette that already exists. I believe it's the same palette that you can get on sale for like $13 in Ulta right now. And basically you're going to spend what? $18 just because it says pride on it. Babies, I can't find anything about this particular palette. If any proceeds are going to be going to charity or anything like that, according to their website, it doesn't look like there is. So with that said, that really bums me the fuck out that you're basically re-releasing a product that already fucking exists that you can get for fucking so much cheaper and then you're just slapping pride. Like, fuck you, fuck you, don't do that. Like fucking come out with a new fucking palette, come out with some sort of new fucking thing, anything else, like, but make it seem like it's a limited edition, a special fucking thing and donate some of the goddamn proceeds. Like, it's just lazy. Like, oh my God, it, because it's a rainbow palette, let's just fucking show pride on it. Fuck you. No, fuck off. Mm -mm. NYX already is like, actually I take that back because NYX glitter glue is everything. But I mean, for the most part, their products are kind of like meh for me. I have seen other rainbow palettes that are currently out right now. For example, the Morphe palette that is coming out for Pride, they're making a donation to the GLSEN organization. Fucking, that's something, right? Like, I'm like, okay, like, I get it. Like, I would purchase from you because at least you're donating a portion of your proceeds to this organization. Even the dogs are upset behind me, okay? But seriously, though, that's, that's fucked up. And um, yeah, not into it. If you are interested in picking up a palette for pride, I don't recommend picking this one up. Consider, there's a bird on the windowsill. Whoa. Hi. Yeah! Alright, so the next palette is from, this is so funny, it's from e.l.f. And this is the Jade Kiss a collab, and this is, it's a fucking rainbow palette. It is actually what I currently have on my eyes today. Ooh, expect a review in the near future. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it because obviously I purchased it. <laughs> and um, I'm excited because I really like Jay Kissa and I purchased her last e.l.f. collab. And for this one, I picked up the brush set along with the palette. Here's the palette right here. I was able to pick it up on the e.l.f. website. And um, yeah, I have some thoughts on it and I will talk to you guys in the future about it. I will say that I think it's available currently in Ulta if I'm not mistaken. But if you 
go on the e.l.f. website, you can find coupon codes to make it slightly cheaper. And what's cool about this collection is that e.l.f. will donate a dollar up to $25,000 to uh, Jay Kiss's favorite animal rescue, which is Angel City Pits. So that's fucking adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that my money went to a good cause. With that said, we're gonna call this a rainbow palette and then you'll see a review in the future, so. Yeah! Marc Jacobs Cosmetics has come out with some new products and it looks like it's called the Gold Line or whatever, right? Gold edition? Gold something or other? Ah, whatever. Anyway, it just came out. It looks like it's an iconic limited gold edition extravaganza. Extravagance. Extravagance. Extravagance? Extravagance! Okay, I don't know why I was like extravaganza. That's what I wanted to say. Anyway, there's an eyeshadow palette for 50 bucks and then there are five different eyeliner pencils as well as one mascara and it looks like a couple of different brow products. The thing that interests me the most is kind of the brow products to be honest with you. The palette is fine but it's just, you know, whatever. It's like another boring gold color story. Like we all have them. We don't really need that. Although I will say though, Boring. I'm boring. Fucking, I'm over this. Next. <laughs> I don't think I can mark this anywhere in my bingo card anyway. <laughs> so next. Fucking, I'm done. The next thing is from Hourglass. Is that you? I'm confused. This is from Makeup Revolution and this is the XX Revolution Complexion Face Palettes. That seemed like really weird and long-winded. This looks almost identical <laughs> to the Hourglass palettes, except that it's in like a pink case. So, oh my God. Why would you let your dog just stay outside and just bark and be fucking alone? Like what is wrong with that person? Fucking bring the dog inside. Yeah, poor dog. All right, so these palettes are out already? I'm so confused. Okay, they range for about $20 a piece and it comes with a matte bronzer, an illuminating highlighter, and a shimmering blush. So let's go look at the Makeup Revolution <laughs> website because I am intrigued. I also have a feeling it's gonna be garbage. Makeup Revolution has too many fucking brands. I can't keep track of how many brands they have. Now it's XX, which I'm assuming is probably their more high-end one. I don't fucking know. Like there's just so goddamn so many of them. All the face palettes are currently out of stock. <laughs> so if I want to get one, tough shit bitch, I can't get one. I'm fucking intrigued by them. Because if they're anything like the hourglass ones and at half the price, that's fucking crazy. That's crazy. So I kind of want to try it just for that very reason. Ooh, that was like straight vodka because I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm going to bite. I, I am. And at the the worst, it's going to be $20 I wasted. So not, not terrible. I could be wasting that on much worse shit like Arby's. <laughs> they have a really good French dip. On my bingo card, I'm going to call this a catfish because it kind of looks like the hourglass one. I know it could be kind of considered copycat vibes, but since we have already played that card, I feel like this could be a catfish because when I first initially saw it, I assumed it was hourglass. And then when I looked at it further, I went, oh shit, that's makeup, makeup revolution. Couldn't remember the company name. Beep, bop, beep, bop, boop. We're going to mark that on my bingo card. Next. Yeah! The next one is from Midas Cosmetics. First of all, I fucking love Midas Cosmetics. I, oh, they're like, they hold a little special place in my heart. They're one of my favorite indie brands. And if you are interested in ever purchasing anything from Midas, I do have a coupon code, which can save you 20% off. And yes, I do get a small kickback from that. So I want to be fully transparent. So if you are interested in my garbage, my garbage code, my code's called garbage. <laughs> My garbage cold, garbage cold, fuck. My garbage code is called garbage. I love Midas. I love the fucking brand. I love the owner. Rocio is fucking perfection. 
I love her so much and I hope to one day meet her. I really do because I just want to squeeze her and just love on her. Recently they came out with the Smoky Glow collection which was really fucking awesome and I'm just super proud of my daughter Hannah. <laughs> And I can say that because I think I'm literally 10 years older than her. <sighs> I'm very proud of my daughter and I was very, very happy with her collection. And I'm so excited for this collection. Now this collection is the Neon MUA collection. If you don't know him, I'm gonna make sure to put down his information, his Instagram down below. Definitely go check him out. This boy does some beautiful motherfucking looks. I can't, okay? I fucking can't. Oh my God, he's just pretty. He's just pretty and he fucking makes his nose so goddamn snatched. I can't, oh my God. Anyway, this pretty boy is coming out with some face palettes and the face palettes are going to be, there's a dawn, noon, dusk and midnight and it's a highlighter, contour, bronzer and blush. My makeup dick is so hard right now. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use two of them at least. I definitely know dawn because that's, I'm pretty sure it's made for uncooked chickens like myself. Noon, maybe. Maybe I might get away with, I don't know. But I'm intrigued to know what exactly the layouts look like. But I'm so intrigued and I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for you, bitch. I hope you fucking make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this shit sells out because this is really awesome. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of over, you know, eyeshadow palettes and shit like that. I'm really looking for things that are more face palettes. So this totally wets my whistle. And this is something that Midas really hasn't done. What I really loved about Hannah's collection is one is that eyeshadow palette was fucking fantastic, but it came with the highlighter duo, which was really nice because I haven't really seen a lot of face palettes for Midas. So I'm excited to see what they're going to bring to the table. And the fact that there are four different different palettes. It's really fucking inclusive. Best believe I'm going to be doing a video on this whenever I, I do get it. And um, I'm excited. Oh my God, I'm so fucking excited. I don't think I can mark this technically on my bingo card, however. No, I can't. But um, just know that I'm really fucking excited. So next. <laughs> So next one is from Huda Beauty. Okay, so Huda is coming out with some legit lashes mascara. And um, not gonna lie, if it's anything like her eyeshadow palette that sometimes causes me eye irritation, I'm gonna fucking pass on this. I'm sorry. Am I the only one that thinks like Huda Beauty is overrated? Like I don't, I feel like for every one good thing, and honestly, I feel like the only palette that I own currently is Mercury Retrograde. And still then I'm like, meh, it's all right. Like it's not the fucking best. Maybe it's just not meant for me. Maybe that's, we're gonna boil it down to that. But I'm very um, hesitant to try this mascara because I often find that a lot of times I get some sort of like weird eye irritation from her shit. And I feel like this is gonna be no different. So uh, I politely decline that one. Next. The next one is from Fenty Beauty, and this is the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. Honestly, I am so fucking intrigued because half the colors are boring as fuck. And if you know anything about me, I usually have some sort of loud fucking eyeshadow and I have a neutral fucking lip because that's just, that's who I am. So for me, this is like everything. And I love a basic ass neutral lipstick. And it looks like there's some really good fucking colors here. There's at least three that I definitely want to pick up right now. Mm. I'm not gonna lie though, that white one is pretty, I don't know, I don't know. The white one is kind of terrifying. I need to see how it looks on somebody because the thought of me wearing white lipstick looks like I just ate a fucking barrel full of ice cream. Surprising nobody, but still like terrifying. I don't know how I feel about the white lipstick, <laughs> but the other lipsticks though look so fucking pretty, especially the more nudie pinky and browns. I'm all about that. So I'm definitely gonna pick up a couple of them. And again, it makes me really sad because pre COVID days, I would be able to go to Sephora and then be able to swatch on the back of my hand and be like, all right, I'm gonna get this, this, and this. And now I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to guess which ones work well for me. And if the ones that don't work well for me, I'm gonna have to take them back and ultimately they get destroyed anyway. It sucks, but it is what it is, right? So um, I'm definitely gonna pick out some of these in the future and I'll probably include it in like a bite-sized review. So be on the lookout for that. But I am thoroughly fucking intrigued. I love basic ass lip products. Oh my God, it's like my bread and butter. Now for my bingo card, I don't think I can call it anything. So we're just gonna move on. Um, so sorry. Love you Fendi though. 
The next one is from Kaleidos Makeup. And I'm so sad, y'all. I was supposed to get this in PR and I still am gonna get it in PR, but apparently it got shipped to like the wrong person or something like that. So I'm really bummed out because I was so fucking excited to get this, this escape pod collection. And now I have to like wait for it to whenever it fucking ships. But whatever, I'm not gonna complain because I'm getting it for free. So I will shut the fuck up. But I am so intrigued by it. I have seen pretty favorable reviews of these products and I, I, I love Kaleidos. I love their fucking eyeshadow palettes. I'm like pointing this way because like I could see the palettes right over yonder. So I love their palettes. I love their highlighters. I'm so fucking intrigued to try the blushes. They look fantastic. I, don't know, I just want to just use it, but um, it's not going to be for a bit. So of course, when I do get everything, I will be able to put up a video for y'all, but I believe it's the collection is coming out actually sooner than later. I'm so, I'm so intrigued. If the eyeshadow is anything like their previous palettes, I'm going to be in fucking love with it. And honestly, I love the packaging for the highlighter. I just think it's so fucking cute. So I'm excited to have more of them in my collection. And I don't think I could put anything on my bingo card other than I'm sad that I don't have it currently. Just know that eventually I'll get it and I will talk about it in the future. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited. I wish them nothing but love and success. They have been a pleasure to get to know. So I'm very, very excited to see where this goes. So congratulations, Kaleido. Next. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know where to start with this one. Trend Mood posted this palette. This is like another big palette from an indie company called the Brazilian Carnival Palette by the King Q-I-N-G. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. King Beauty Shop. I'm assuming that's what it is. I apologize if that's not correct. And basically this is 99 fucking shades and it has shimmers, glitters, mattes, you name it, it's fucking in there. And this is like a hodgepodge of shit. This is scary. <laughs> this is like the Frankenstein of palettes. It's alarming. I don't really know what to make of it. And what's also disconcerting too is that a lot of the pictures don't look the same. So I don't really <laughs> understand which is the true palette that you're getting. I feel like it's one of those palettes that they just sell on AliExpress and they're like, hey, just put your logo on it and whew, there you go. There's a fucking hot seller, baby. And that's kind of what this is. It's really strange that every angle, the colors look either really vibrant or very, very dull. And for $50, <laughs> you, you're not getting a dime from me, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. This, honestly, when I look at this palette, I get extreme anxiety. <laughs> I, I do have anxiety and it heightens it at fucking like times 50. I don't understand like why you would ever want something like this in your collection. No, no, no. Honestly, if I were to ever purchase it, I think I would have a headache trying to figure out what color combination I would want to do because it's just too much. You're taking me to the all you can eat buffet, bitch, and you're expecting me to be civil. <laughs> That's what I get when I look at this palette. Like you're expecting me to use four fucking eyeshadows when I'm like uh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> put it all on my face and look like a fucking clown. Like, no, this is wild, this palette. I fucking can't, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm. -mm. mm. And the swatches, I mean, the swatches look okay. They look fine, but it's only a select group of swatches, you know, which is kind of crazy because there's 99 shadows in there. And you'd think that, I don't know, <laughs> that they would have at least the 99 swatches up, but no, I'm wrong. This is too much. This is the scariest palette I've ever seen. The pictures don't even make sense. I feel bad for the poor bastards that are gonna buy this palette. I feel for you guys because like, that's really stupid. Don't. No, don't do it. Don't do it, honestly. Honestly, the palette also kind of reminds me of like, um, <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird, but you, do you remember in like Inspector Gadget when Penny would have like her little notebook computer thing and it would just be like all little colorful blocks? Like that's what this reminds me of. I'm not into it. I'm not here for it, so no. If you were thinking about picking this up, don't. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Because this is too much, this is too fucking stupid. Just buy anything else, do not buy that. I I feel like the quality is not even that good. Mm. I can just sense it. I'm getting my third sense here, my sixth sense. What, what sense is it? Six. I'm getting it and it's saying, don't buy this palette because it's garbage. 
don't buy it, don't do it. So with that said, I could mark this on my bingo card as pressed glitter in, in, a, in an express palette, wow. Press glitter in an eyeshadow palette, because that's essentially what it is. It's actually a lot of things, but that's the one thing I can actually say <laughs> what it is. Yeah! And with that said, I hit motherfucking makeup bingo. And that's amazing, because I'm getting kind of drunk right now. And if I keep going, God only knows what the fuck I'll say next. And with that said, let me know down below how you feel about this makeup bingo. If you like some of the things I talked about, if you hated them, if you have different opinions, let me know. Because I love hearing from you pumpkins. And of course, please go check out the wonderful Emily Han Han, that delicious little adorable clam that I just want to eat up. Go check her out and uh, show her some love because she is an adorable little clam that we all want to eat. I thought I was going to go somewhere with that, but I didn't, so. <laughs> Moral of the story, we love Emily, and Emily is family. <laughs> we love Emily. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting really drunk. Okay, on that note, I want to say <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on all my social medias. I have Instagram, Facebook, even though I'm really not that active on it, honestly. I think I might delete it. Snapchat, again, I actually don't even really know why I'm on it because I don't really understand it. So I think I might delete that one too. Discord, Patreon, which to my lovely, darling Patreon members, I love you so much. Thank you so much for keeping this garbage boat afloat. I appreciate your little faces and um, can't wait to um, love on you all. And of course, if you wanna know what's currently on my face along with where to get my merch. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And um, oh yeah, I have podcasts. Go check those out. <laughs> Dead and Bored. Really awesome. Hopefully we have an episode up soon about Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes, which I'm so fucking excited about. So hopefully that will be up and you can check that out. And of course, I hope you pumpkins continue to stay safe, be healthy, and keep fighting that good fight. I love you all. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.